as cries from mothers from Southern Highlands brought in mourners from Hela and Southern Highlands. Many anticipated the speech by a former PM and member for Yalibupangia after the member for Sinis in Yongamul and Petroleum Minister Karangakua last Saturday called on MPs who were a part of the Sumaria impasse in 2011 to apologize. Last night, O'Neill apologized. I know we've had our own differences. And if I had caused some grief and pain to the Somali family or himself, we apologize for it. We say sorry. <laughs> Politics is not easy. We are all dictated by numbers on the floor. That's what we have practiced as a country for the last 45, 46 years, and it will continue to do so. But before I conclude, let me say this. Whilst expressing our heartfelt condolences to the family, and especially the people of East Sipik, that thank you for giving this unique man to our nation. Thank you for giving this unique man to our nation. He was the right man at the right place at the right time in of the history of our country. O'Neill further highlighting Sir Michael's political career as someone who continued to assist and train first-time members of parliament in ministerial portfolios to allow them to grow in politics. O'Neill attributing his own political career to the lessons learned from the founding father. Many of us who are in politics today, we have served in this cabinet, we have served in this government in various capacities, but a unique style of leadership the Melanesian way of leadership that he provided, guiding many of the young leaders who came after him to achieve some of the things that we have been able to achieve is again a credit to him. Adelaide Sirox Kari, National, MTV News.